Gail Tartalin is a novelist, actress, and the book editor for Phoenix Magazine. Her new novel, Golden Boy, has been featured in Vogue, Vanity Fair, and O Magazine. It follows the story of an intelligent, attractive, and athletic boy named Max, his secret, and the single traumatizing event that sends his seemingly charmed life into a tailspin. And Abigail joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is a, uh, an incredible and, and quite unique story. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit more about Max? Are you comfortable telling us a little bit more um, about Max? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I can do that. Um, so how I always explain it is that it's in a it's in a very the story set in a very perfect community in a fairly perfect world and a lovely, lovely family. And um, so Max feels this pressure to be perfect, but he um, was born um, chromosomally half boy, half girl. So he's he's never had a particular gender, but he's been raised as a boy, which is fairly common. Um, I think the statistics are one in 2,000 babies are born intersex, which is what we call it now, um, rather than hermaphrodite, which is an outdated term. Um, so I wanted to write about, there are books like Middlesex and Annabelle that have written about an intersex protagonist, but I wanted to write about one who was born in a very normal community and wasn't kind of spawned after a series of crazy um, coincidences and and uh, but I loved both books but this was about making it kind of accessible. Was to there a specific families. individual that you sort of base this around or did you meet people along the way to sort of give you to give you some insight onto that kind of life? Um, well I did I did do a lot of research and I went on Tumblr which is a blog site um, and met a lot of young teenagers who were identifying um, with many different gender identities like gender queer and pan gender and that was really really interesting to me that they were so brave and courageous about that and even though I was at school 10 years ago and in the same position I grew up in a very conservative area and that just wouldn't have been something that people would feel comfortable doing so I thought that was wonderful and I thought that it would be very interesting to make a kind of hero out of Max and make him be a very brave person. It's so interesting to think about all of the questions that would surround that. First of all, it's a secret, as you said, um, but if and when that secret comes out, you need to start asking yourselves a lot of questions. We happen to all identify through our sexuality, whether we admit it to ourselves or not, whether it's conscious or not, we do. And so when you are born that way, you're going to get a lot of questions uh, internally about who am I? Yeah, absolutely. And I think the his family have kind of tried to push it down and not talk to him about it. And then when he gets to 16, obviously it's the age when boys start to become boys. People get taller, people have facial hair. And um, for me personally, I used to hang out with lots of guys in school and, and lots of girls. And then when we were 16, it was suddenly like, no, you have to be going out with them to uh, spend that much time with them. So. Um, I think life really gets complicated at that point where sexuality is kicking in and um, that's when things start to get complicated for Max as well. Was what? there anything, sorry, was there anything surprising that you discovered in your research or anything that made you pause and say, I didn't know that? Yeah, oh, tons. Um, but the, one of the reasons I wanted to write about intersexuality was that I was just really interested in writing about gender roles and stereotyping and what would happen if you didn't have a gender and um, other people were pressuring you to choose. Um, but one of the interesting things that I found researching and one of the reasons that made me think, yeah, I really want to write about this, was um, cosmetic genital surgery, which is performed on children. and. Um, doctors and certain states advocate for this to be done to children so that they won't grow up with a skewed gender identity. And there's a case in South Carolina at the moment, which is just incredibly timely because the book's come out this week and this is what's happening, but, but there was a child that has been adopted and his adoptive parents asked the state not to perform cosmetic genital surgery on the child and the state already had. So they adopted the child anyway and now, now it's eight and um, identifying as a boy, but the surgery made the child into a girl, so the parents are suing the state. So that's a, a really horribly shocking thing that's going on, and very sad, but wonderful for the child that it has such advocates as parents, which I, I'm sure most intersex children don't, because people just don't know about the subjects. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. In writing a book like this, you almost inevitably champion a cause or an issue and you're raising awareness. Is that, was that your intention, or did you just want to write a book? 
Oh, well, in the beginning, mm -hmm. I just wanted to write a book. But I do think that you have a responsibility if you're asking a book to be published mm -hmm. to think about the impact that it's going to have on the world. And I think there should always be a reason and something you want to say to people for writing a book. And um, I think a, a lot of books, for instance, I, I wrote a column about this recently for Phoenix. Um, they have protagonists that maybe they're young women, like in kind of Fifty Shades of Grey, and they are, are victimized or are quite um, passive. And I think if you put that out in the world, you have to think about what that's doing to women who read the book. So I really hope that this actually gets out to LGBT teens, particu LGBT teens particularly and their families, um, because I think it, it will make a difference in talking about any type of different sexuality or gender identity. Absolutely. The book is called Golden Boy, Abigail Tartalin. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. 828. We're going to take a break.